Oh, yeah, I also muted it because, um, you know, the music, um, copyright situations, issues, and so forth. So. Hey, what up? This is your boy, the Solo Traveler ORD, back with another video review. So, this time around, I'm actually going to do a video review on Kendra G. I tried to avoid her content as much as possible because there was just too much of the foolery that goes on with her content. But this one I wanted to at least touch on because this is just too wild. Um, but of course, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Of course, hit that bell. Appreciate that. And uh, of course, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. So, but yeah, touching on this Kendra G. Um, so what's interesting about this is that this is an unemployed woman that wants a man to come save her. This is kind of what goes on here in modern society, westernized women. A lot of them, either if they have a job or not, they want to be saved. <laughs> and so... So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's go review this and get a few laughs. This video says she's unemployed, wants a loyal provider, no 50-50 men. All right, let's watch this. What's the name, baby? Uh, I go by Kay. Kay, where are you calling me from? I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas. How old are you? I will be 40 in a couple of days. Oh, when's your birthday? Hmm. September 16th. Okay, September 15th, September 15th. That Vir that's still Virgo, right? Virgo, yes. Okay, Virgo. Okay, Las Vegas, 40 Virgo. What you do for a living, boo? I am unemployed. Well, do you have any kids? No kids. No kids. Unemployed. Do you think you're in a space to date with like not having a job right now? I am, I prefer it that way because I want a man that'll take me at my lowest and help me help build me up and that'll build my loyalty towards him. <laughs> No, she did it. <laughs> so she want a man to come save her. Come in like Superman, swoop her off her feet and take care of her. One thing for sure, at least at least she doesn't have kids. At least she doesn't have that. That's one thing for sure. But nonetheless, she wants a grown man to take care of her. She's 40. I'm sorry, there are women in other countries. Um, in other, you know, especially other countries, they like they love to say third world countries. I'm gonna say developing nations. That women that are wife type that will still go out there and work until they find their husband, then they will be be the housewife or whatever, you know, or they will continue working, uh, supporting the family, helping out the family as well as the man. But for this woman to say that she wants this man to come in, swoop her off her feet, save her. You know, she shouldn't have to work. This is wild. Is she going to give him loyalty? I don't know about that. What kind of man you looking for? Um, Just kind of goes into what I was just saying. A loyal provider. <laughs> a, loyal provi a loyal provider. So yeah. you want to provide for you right now that you're not um, working? Well, even in a relationship, every time I'm usually in a relationship, I typically don't work, but like I'm a helper. If he has a business, I'm there to help him with his business, um, whatever he needs. That's usually my place. Kind of like an assistant. Pay all the bills? Typically, yeah. But you most of the it. men I encounter, they're they're manly men, so they prefer it to play. Um, what are your deal breakers besides that being a provider? Deal breakers. I have a lot of deal breakers. <laughs> um, nymphomaniacs. Uh, for people that are not aware, that's men that like to have sex too much. I think there's a lot to life more than sex. So hold on. So so wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. So you want him to take care of you, but then you have a deal breaker that you cannot have a lot of sex with him. What do you think is gonna happen? I mean, he's taking care of you. He's gonna expect something in return, especially from all the stress. Let's continue. Let's not indulge in that. Let's go out, enjoy ourselves, enjoy each other in other aspects. Um, men with multiple baby mamas, that's a no. I, I'm okay with men with kids, but just no multiple baby mamas. Um, What else? Oh, like ghetto men that have like all the gold teeth, sag their pants. I can't do it. Like I'm from the hood, but I've, in, I've evolved a little bit. So mm -hmm. I just can't go back to that kind of lifestyle. Um, what else? Oh, 50-50 men. 
Absolutely not. Um, I feel like if you want to go 50-50, you're looking more so for a roommate, not for a partner, not for a woman. Um, <laughs> I find it funny that she says not 50-50. You know, at this day and age, but then women are saying that they want to be, you know, um, equal. They want to have equality and so forth, but then no 50 50. You guys got to decide what you want to do. Because if you want the equality, that means that you got to go deal with 50 50. You know, if not, then you're going to have to not have the equality and go have to go back, go back to traditionalism. So I always laugh at that because of, you know, you don't know which woman is, is what because so many women are saying so many different things. This is why I tell brothers, yo, just, just get your passport. You know what it is outside the United States. You don't have to second guess what that woman is all about. You know what you're going to get. So just go ahead and get your passports. Let's, let's, let's proceed. The the world isn't 50-50. I always say women have periods. Women have babies. So life isn't fair. Life isn't 50-50. Now, okay, I, I want you to respond to this because this is going to be a statement. You had a long list of deal breakers. What would you say to the person that would say you're currently unemployed and that's a lot of deal breakers for a, a woman who can't even technically take care of herself at this moment? Yeah. Well, just because I'm unemployed, it doesn't make me lesser of a person and it doesn't tell me that I need to settle. So those are things that I still need and I still require just because I'm unemployed. I'm not supposed to be like, oh, yeah, now I'm OK with smokers. I'm OK with ghetto dudes. No, I, I absolutely will not um, lessen my standards. Would you date an unemployed man? Um, again, because I look for the man to be the provider as a woman, I wouldn't. So you want a man to accept something that you wouldn't accept? Right, right. And everybody has Bruh. their preferences and what they accept and what they don't. But as a woman, I wouldn't date an unemployed man because how is he to provide? Well, some men that are that are able to provide want women that can provide for themselves. A lot of men that like to provide for women, they do it as an honor because they know she's out here and she can hold herself down. This is a conversation that I've heard at times that men don't mind providing, but they also want to be your daddy. And if they feel like you can't take care of yourself, why is it now my responsibility to take care of you? Well, those are the ones I'm not looking for. I'm looking for a man. <laughs> Attitude. I'm looking for a man that's open. He understands where I am. He understands my capabilities and my abilities. He knows that if he has a business, I'm willing to contribute and help him run it. So I have a lot of attributes that would be beneficial. Wow. <laughs> Brothers, stay clear of this type of woman in the States. Not only because of the way that she is, but also the fact of the laws. So if you would, if you were to take on this woman to be even your your wife, and she doesn't work at all, as soon as it ends, she will be taking all your money, all your money be gone. She will be taking it all because the court will award her. So this is why I'm saying that. Hey, watch out because. Everything in the West is temporary, while women in the East or whatever you may want to say, um, in traditional uh, countries, they're there to stay for a long time. So watch out. But you know what? Let's move on to the next video. So this is the next video I want to show you guys. Instead of dealing with what's here in the West, what's going on, this is what you can see down in DR. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, I also muted it because um, you know, the music, um, copyright situations, issues, oh and so forth. So, but this time I did it. It wasn't YouTube. But yeah, look at them dunk. Uh. Yep. <laughs> so that's what's, that's what's out there in DR. Let's take a look at the next video. With this video, <laughs> this is what I see daily in my house with my wife. She's always have on the these type of shorts and everything no bra no nothing uh shirt just doing her thing you know um you know cleaning up cooking and so forth so when you have a four women this is kind of this is kind of regular always in the kitchen doing her thing looking just like that you can just want to take them to the bedroom and do your thing after they're done <laughs> so but yo let's go ahead and move on to the last video Lastly, I want to show you guys couples, couples, black men that has found women in other countries and you see how happy they are. 
So I'm about to tell you guys, yo, it's possible. Get that passport and do your due diligence and, and research on that country, on the women and so forth. And yo, everything will work out for you. Boy, passport from and get the passport. Passport from me get the passport. Passport, let me get the passport. If me nobody get it, me I take one boat. Yo, the passport from me get the passport. I England girl one who did not show it. If it pum pum bushy, me I carry one coat. Man, the jars have a fly like. There you go. Of course, you know. Hey, leave a comment below. Let me, let me know what you guys think about the videos. Of course, this your boy, the Solo Traveler O R D. Thanks again for checking us out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I am out.